Good afternoon, everybody. So today is day two of my video log of my transformation journey. Um, hope you'll <laughs> excuse me. Uh, it's just finishing up a workout, so I'm more than a little bit sweaty, but it was good, and it reminded me of um, some things I picked up last night that I wanted to share. Um, so I was watching this movie, Defending Your Life, with Meryl Streep and um, Albert Brooks. And it's a funny movie. Uh, basically, it's a form of purgatory. Um, and I won't give away the whole movie, but basically the gist of it is about love and fear. And conquering your fears and using that love, that guidance from within to take advantage of the opportunities as they come um, and to be your fullest self. And I didn't like this movie from, I liked it from a long time ago and I hadn't seen it in a while. Um, and it kind of was a shock to the system because it made me reevaluate um, the different ways that fear had played into my life. In many ways, it made me a shell of myself. I found that as I went through life, worrying about what people would think, what people would say, what people would do, and how people would respond to me, uh, being the youngest of my class, being a black boy, being a big man, being any number of things, I was always so worried about what other people would think and what other people would say and how other people would view it and did not did not exist in the fullest version of myself um, really what people saw was a shadow they saw a phantom uh, they saw a chameleon act put on expressly for their benefit um, but certainly not for mine and you know, as my transformation or my awakening began, I realized that I couldn't keep doing that, that that was not me. I could no longer fit in that shell. I was no longer covered by that shadow. And it wasn't a place I wanted to be to begin with. Um, and adding on to the fact that I now have children, I said, you know what? I don't want that life for them. It was bad enough for me. It'd be horrible for me to pass that on to them. And so I started to embrace the aspects of me that had been long since buried. I started to embrace my truth that had long since been silenced. And I found that I started to become more in focus. I started to dream in color. Now, even as I started to dream in color, I still found that my life was still pretty drab. You don't pull yourself out of a shadow overnight. Uh, it's little by little, it gets brighter. Little by little, it gets better. Little by little, your colors start to shine through. But when you're first going through it, it's still pretty drab. Uh, it's still pretty dark. And it's still a process that you have to go through. And that's part of what I'm going through now. Um, you know, I, I, I used to say I was evolving in silence, and then all of a sudden I was evolving out loud, and now apparently I'm evolving in color. Um, but I think that's kind of how the path is supposed to be. Um, you can't really do all of this at once. You just kind of have to stay with the process, uh, stay with the tools, stay with your practices, and let them evolve you. You can't just choose to evolve yourself, especially after you've been in caterpillar mode for 10, 20, 30 years. Um, it takes some doing, but you feel the results after a while. You feel the benefits after a while, and you feel like, like things are finally coming together. You feel like things are finally coming into focus. And then the day comes when you look at yourself and you can see clearly again. Maybe others can't see it yet because 
what's in you hasn't fully manifested outside of you, but you can see it. You can see your heart. You can see your dreams. You can see the drive that's in you and you can see what it is that you really care about, which is really what you were brought here to do and to be here for in the first place. And when that happens, it starts to emanate, it starts to ooze out of you. Um, it's kind of like pheromones, you know, once that change starts to happen, everyone around you can feel it. It becomes palpable. Um, it's the reason why um, some friendships break up. It's the reason why some relationships break up. Uh, it's the reason why you can't continue uh, doing what you were doing before. You know, that pint of haagen every day is just not going to get it. Um, that three hours of watching TV on the couch is just not going to get it anymore. That working that job that is paying you less and making you less is just not going to get it anymore. And now it's time for you to play full out. It's time for you to stop playing small. And it's time for you to basically open up the engines and see just how much power is inside you. I don't know that I fully know how much power is inside of me, but I'm finding out. And it's interesting. I don't think I'm all the way there and I've already found a lot more than I thought I had. So to all of you, I hope that you have a similar experience. I hope that you are working your path, um, staying true to yourself, connecting yourself to the source, to the divine, to the creator, and letting your full self play. Because that's all we're here for anyway. Have a great day.